It's been almost a year now since I started consistently posting content on YouTube. But throughout this time, I've, I've learned a lot about the cybersecurity industry, uh, how to engage an audience, and just the misconceptions that a lot of us students have about the industry as a whole. Because I put out content about the cybersecurity industry, people have asked me a lot of questions pertaining to guidance, direction, technical help, and resources that they can utilize to get into cybersecurity. I really try to take a lot of time to write concise, detailed information uh, when it comes to writing emails or when I'm participating in a Discord DM session. But it really has come with a price and a lesson to be learned. I think they have the impression that I know a lot about the cybersecurity industry. As one of my personal friends says, everyone knows something someone else doesn't know but someone else knows something you don't know. My personal friend is right, he's in the right, meaning we all have things that we do know and that we don't know. Becoming aware of this idea is important, especially as someone who's in the IT industry. The awareness part is step one, but actually applying this awareness to real world situations and scenarios is really the step two in this process. Keep this process in mind for the rest of the video because you'll see where my struggle is. When you were a little kid, you most likely heard the phrase, honesty is the best policy, in hopes of teaching you the lesson of importance of honesty. Now, do we keep true to this statement today? Probably not. If you don't want your audience to doubt you, or your prospective subscribers to, to doubt your credibility, you have to maintain an honest profile. If you don't maintain this respected credibility, uh, how can you be trusted? When you do lie, and let's say it's a scenario about someone asks you a question that you don't know, or they mention a term that uh, you have no idea what it means. You just lie and you dig yourself into a hole, make the impression that you know it because you want to maintain this honest and credible profile. What's one lie? I mean, as long as you convey the message with the impression that you know the question, no one will suspect a lie. You can look up the term when you get back home or whatever on Google and then you know what they're talking about and you know what you encountered and you're good to go. You've learned something new. You're good. You've violated this honesty policy. And even though this may seemingly be such a small lie, it's really contributing towards a larger lesson uh, that you haven't learned yet. I was sitting in the cyber range here at university. Uh, the cyber range, as we like to call it, is a cybersecurity lab, a dedicated lab, where we can study, we can practice with the servers that they have, and we can do all kinds of things within the cyber range. I was waiting to be interviewed for the cyber defense team. The cyber defense team is a competitive team where we practice and apply our skills to competitions with other schools and universities around the region. As I was walking in to be interviewed into the cyber range, I reminded myself of this important lesson, being honest, admitting to what I don't know and just maintaining this honest profile in the interview. I had step one, the, the awareness phase or the, the awareness part in mind. The question came up, which really revealed my lack of understanding of the step two part, the application parts in this lesson. It was a simple question, yet it revealed so much about what I didn't know. This individual who was interviewing me said something like this. Have you ever used PowerShell? Are you at all proficient with it? Well, of course I've used PowerShell. In fact, I use it all the time this past summer during my internship. I create all kinds of local scripts. Oh, that's great. So you're familiar with the .ps1 extension? Um, no, no, I, I have no idea what that is. Can you remind me what that is again? Yeah, sure, it's that extension you use when you are saving a PowerShell script. This question wasn't hard to answer. Either I'm proficient with PowerShell and I know what I'm doing, or I'm not proficient with PowerShell and I don't know what I'm doing. I said, yes, and I cut the corner and I said, yes, I am proficient with PowerShell. Okay, so this may be seemingly a, a no big deal. I mean, I, I, I didn't know PowerShell, but I didn't know what a PowerShell.ps1 file extension was in the moment. But the real lesson was about to be learned. The second half of this interview was showcasing our skills. We were a, given a VM, which we were supposed to remote into, and we were given five simple questions to answer. 
no big deal. Except one of these simple questions was about using PowerShell to get the AD users list. When it was time to answer this question, I had no idea and I knew I made the mistake in that moment because now I have no idea how to use PowerShell to get this simple command. The answer is super simple. Uh, you import the Active Directory module and then you just type in git ad group and you're good to go. But I didn't know the answer at the time. And so after finishing this interview, walking out of the cyber range, I knew I had step one in my mind. I knew that I could be aware of the fact that I needed to maintain honesty, but I couldn't actually apply my awareness to a real world situation. When you lie, you conduct a false persona about what you are knowing and you are hindering yourself. You're inhibiting yourself from a learning opportunity. The cybersecurity industry is full of learning opportunities. If you ask any successful professional in the IT security industry and you ask them about the abundance of learning opportunities, they'll probably reply with yes, an overwhelming amount. Learning or continuous learning is one of the big reasons, one of the primary reasons why I chose cybersecurity. Being vulnerable in the moment and showing some humility may hurt the ego in that very moment, but you're doing yourself a favor for the future. Instead of saying, yeah, sure, I know what that is, say something like, no, I haven't heard of that. Can you, could you briefly describe what that is? Being vulnerable, showing humility about something you don't know will take you further within the industry because you are allowing for a learning opportunity. So many students within the past year have shown so much humility to me. Many of them claiming that they have no idea what to do within the cybersecurity industry, or where to go, or where to start. But they have this ambition to learn and this sense of really growing along the way and learning along the way. And they're willing to show humility to me in that moment. I respect those individuals who are willing to learn and grow. In fact, I really like to invest a lot of time and effort into those individuals because I know that their efforts, their ambition is gonna get them somewhere. But if you're a know-it-all, and maybe like me in that moment, and you claim you know everything about the cybersecurity industry, or you claim you know, yeah, I know how to use PowerShell, oftentimes you tend to get pushed back by other individuals. So if I can tell myself that in the moment, if I can identify that I get pushed back by the people who are know-it-alls, but I really enjoy working with people who are willing to learn and grow along the way, why can't I apply that to myself today? Who cares if you don't know everything? Because at the end of the day, I'm here just to kind of document and learn uh, along the way with, with getting into a cybersecurity career. This is a question I've been asking myself since semester started. And maybe this is something that you should ask yourself and identify with uh, when it comes to applying this lesson. Because at the end of the day, honesty is the best policy. That is it for today's video. If you have enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing. This is a great lesson that I've learned within the past three months, and it's a lesson I'm gonna have to continue to be aware and actually apply that step to. That's it, have a good day, and be honest. Be honest, I should be honest.